Realistically, before the new school year, I usually need to mentally and physically prepare myself. And yep, that means it's time for a club. as I give you guys college slash high school advice. I'm aware people have like very terrible attention spans. So let's keep this short. For starters, if you didn't already know, I am done with school. So this is more for like in school purposes. If I went to school today, I would probably do the following. I would attend career fairs. Those are super essential. They build networking and very informative. If you remember at the end of your program or your course, you want to secure a job. And who knows, maybe that one interaction with a professional in your field might get you a job. Next tip is to be mindful of people you do your projects with. Because I kid you not, the first day of school, I had A's in all my units apart from one, which was a project. And I got a C and I was so pissed because people didn't want to do assignment. Me personally, I wouldn't do projects with my friends because nothing ever gets done. Plus, I want to get different ideas and different views from other people in my classroom. That advice is being mindful of people you tell your things to. Don't tell people your stuff, like just keep it to yourself. You don't have to tell people your things. Now that we're talking about telling people your business, please don't date people from school. Do not date your classmates, do not date your schoolmates. Rather, dating someone from school is a huge L because you get to see that person every day. I like personal space. And also, can you talk about how the post breakup is messy? Especially if you're dating an immature person, they end up telling people your things. I 10 10 would not recommend dating someone from school. You don't need the whole Apple ecosystem to thrive in school. You don't need a MacBook and an iPad. For what reason? What are you using all those for? I would use an HP laptop. One that I actually use, I would recommend because it's foldable, you can write notes on it. MacBook could never, seriously. A MacBook could never. Next is being kind to people. I hate mean girls, yuck. Let's talk friendships. I really don't like friend groups. It is very overwhelming for me. I get to hang out with the same people every day. That is so boring. I'm not a friend group person. I just have my favorites when it comes to hanging out. Learn how to balance your school and social life. Make time to go out and also make time for schoolwork. If you haven't actually figured your career path yet, be patient with yourself because everyone has their unique journey. And just because all your peers are graduating or have graduated doesn't mean they haven't figured out. Final makeup look. What do we think? <laughs> start heading out we have a long day ahead of us currently at the dentist as usual and today i'm getting my teeth extracted yay so fun the tooth with the yellow filling was what was getting removed that was a zero out of ten experience i never want to experience that ever again Can we talk about how the back of the shoes hurt so bad? I literally had to improvise and put paper towels at the back of my shoe. So we had actually gone to play tennis, which I didn't vlog obviously, but 1010 10 experience. to go get my hair straightened because i'm tired of having to do my hair every day it's very annoying here's the before <gasps> you know what's crazy is my hair was born straight yesterday and today this is what we're working with it's already poofy and i have a feeling by the end of this video we're going to be working with an afro <laughs> not this hair because my hair reverts so quickly so We'll see. Something that you need to take into account is that a physical glow up is nothing. If you don't have a mindset change, meaning your mental glow up is priority, grab a book. And at the top, I want you to write your goals for the new school year. This could be something simple like submitting assignments on time, getting A's in all my classes, etc. Then at the bottom, write down your weaknesses and give proper reasonable solutions 
for example something that i really struggle with is public speaking so under weaknesses i wrote down not being confident enough to present group projects and my solution to that would be trying to speak in front of a mirror every day for organization i would recommend notion and they do have templates that you can customize to track your habits write to-do lists etc lastly having morning and night routines is a topic i constantly speak on on my channel they seriously help me out in structuring my day and so before the new semester make sure you solidify your morning and night routines so this is day three here what do we think um i don't know if i'm a fan but let me know if this looks good but i want to show you guys backpack essentials hi british vogue i'm charlie xcx and this is what's in my bag I used to carry this bag right here. Let me show you guys. This is actually my brother's. Oh, maybe we should pose for like a thumbnail, should we? <laughs> so an essential for me, especially when I was in school, was my journal because you never know when a girl needs to journal. I don't know if that's only me, but this always has to be inside my bag. The next thing that I put is my laptop. I don't know what the MacBook galleys are saying, but HP is where it's at because does your Mac do this? I don't think so. I don't think so. The next thing that I put, of course, is my laptop charger and also my phone charger as well. I also usually carry galley essentials and I have these are actually free stuff. I have a lotion, sunscreen, sanitizer, and this Vaseline. Next essential is earphones then i usually need to have like some kind of body spray and i'll always carry this if you know you know that is literally all i carry inside my bag oh my god i actually miss school no i don't no no i don't i don't miss school come on in case you're wondering the kind of laptop that i have it's this one and it came with a stylus as well At some point in this video, I thought I'd give you guys some outfit ideas. I low-key kinda got lazy to be honest. So I would recommend if you guys would follow these two creators. They usually have some cute outfits. The last thing to blowing up is having a clean workspace. We cannot expect ourselves to be productive when our rooms look like this. That is everything I did for this video. I'm wishing everyone a productive and successful school year. And note to self, hot girl study. <laughs>